hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how we can open a ui kit based view controller from our shift ui view i mean we are going to add some button so if user press on that button a view controller will be open a view controller means ui kit based view controller all right let's get started here this is our shift ui application so what I had to do just go ahead and create a new file by right clicking on our project click new file and I'm going to go for cocoa touch class here in the iOS and go next and make sure the type UI view controller is selected here otherwise you can start to type so it will get suggested you can define your class name so it will be view controller in my case click next and create also I'm going to use a storyboard right click on your project and new file and select storyboard in the user interface section click next and I'm going to type the storyboard name as main okay so the next step you have to select on this view controller name and uh, expand this uh, inspector tab and you have to make sure you selected this view controller here in this panel and go to this section called identity inspector and you have to provide the storyboard id so let's define the storyboard id as uh, main okay this is the storyboard id that is it and the next step once you select this view controller you will able to select the class for it in this uh, custom class section you can type the class name that you created here view controller if you created something else another name you can define that there all right so let's add some text here hello world yeah it will be label So I'm going to center that horizontally and vertically and change in the text to hello world. Okay. All right. Now the next step is go to content view. Now I'm going to create a new struct called view controllers representable. You can define your class name let's say representable actually you can use whatever name here representable and we are going to conform to the ui view controller representable protocol okay so a view that represent a ui kit view controller now add braces in the braces what we had to do we have to create a necessary functions let's say the first function is make ui view controller add that so it create the view controller object and configures it is initial state and the next one is we are going to create the update view update ui view controller so it updates the state of the specified view controller with new information from shift ui so we don't have to do anything here we are going to return the view controller from here so we can uh, return the view controller if we are creating uh, ui components manually here but we are connected to this storyboard so what we have to do is we are going to create a new storyboard uh, variable constant let's say let the storyboard set that equals to ui storyboard let's hide this one so so for the argument we had to write the name and the bundle so the name is this is storyboard name here it is main and the bundle will be nil okay so now we are going to create the constant for the view controller 
let's say vc is equals to and we are going to say storyboard dot instantiate view controller and the argument is with identifier so the identifier is the identifier we provided to this view controller here the this is the identity the identity okay so we had to type that it was main and we are going to say we should take that as this combination symbol should be there as the view controller the view controller name this one okay this view controller name and we are going to return the vc now okay now here we have the hello world text it is okay the next step is we need a button to open this view controller here in the view stack we can go ahead and add a one called navigation link so it is a link to destination view controller or view we are going to open our view controller so we can drag that to here below text this hello world so we have for the destination so the destination will be this is struct we can paste that there view controller representable and put parentheses okay now we had brought the label for that uh, navigation link it can be a label so type label and uh, here we have to provide the label for our navigation link for that we can use a text so in the double quotes let's say uh, open view controller i know that label is not user friendly it's okay so if you run this you will see the view controller is not opening let me go ahead and show you so the current emulator simulator is 15 pro let's open it okay now even though when we press on this open view controller it is not opening the view controller is not opening that's because we have to embed this view in the navigation stack the way we have to do is just select everything in the body and right click and click embed and the container type will be navigation stack okay now if you open that and uh, i forget that we can include the title for our view controller let me go ahead and show you what i mean by that after running it once we open the view controller here there are no title for this view controller so we can add a title after this navigation link you can say navigation title in the double quotes we can say the title new vc or something else okay now we are going to open the view controller now it's opening here we can see the hello world text that we attached on the main storyboard here in this view controller okay as you can see that's how we can open a view controller from our swift ui app i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you